I believe that the culprit in this case could only have been Dogen. I have no idea what transpired between Dogen and the victim. It simply could not have been that Dogen was displeased with him. In any case, he was the one who stabbed the victim to death. He probably had a dog dispense of the body. This is the truth of the case. How do you know that? The victim, Mr. Knightley, was it? I think it is truly a terrible thing. Taking a man's life, you mean. That's how you'd go about saying it, isn't it? If only I had been more vigilant, his death would not have happened. That's why I want to clear up his regrets. Lord Vrolin, how considerate. I'm sure Mr. Knightley in heaven is overflowing with gratitude. Is gratitude really what Knightley feels? Is he really in heaven? Is that the bigger question? Nightly was being held in the detention center and Dogen was in the prison. They couldn't make any contact. Don't you think that would have been, uh, prevented trouble? The prison is quite confined, right? There are many ways for them to meet. Nightly was murdered days before he would have been sentenced to prison. Surely there weren't many ways a meeting could have occurred. Even without a direct meeting, Dogen can still cause trouble. Mark my words. Already be displaced. Could Knightley have done in the what could Knightley have done in the detention center to displease him? That was just an example. You don't have to take it so seriously. Didn't I already say that I have no intention of, uh, no idea of what transpired between them? Nevertheless, you certainly are a serious one, Edgeworth dear. What's this? A piercing gaze. Always standing straight and stiff. Very nice. Looking very clever, my dear. I think I'm about to become your biggest fan. Mm. Mr. Edgeworth, stay focused. It's just a flesh wound. Right. Is this uh, some form of psychological warfare? Probably. In any case, he was the one who was stabbed to death. Who stabbed the victim to death. I'd like to hear your thoughts about the circumstances surrounding the murder. Well, I suppose it was a simple job. During his booking, I learned that the victim had some kind of injury to his neck. He couldn't turn his neck to the right. I remember him saying something like that. Okay. That's a process one undergoes before being locked up in the detention center. Sounds like you don't really know a lot about Nightly. I only know a little. In any case, he couldn't have been an e he would have been an easy target for Dogen. Perhaps he used the chisel hidden in the chessboard. The victim wouldn't even have a had a chance to scream. I see, your opinion will be a val uh, very valuable reference. Do you add those last statements to your testimony? You're making me blush. You're so cute. I'm just kidding. I'll continue. Perhaps he used the chisel. The chessboard. The thing that the victim brought with him. It seemed like he really pl enjoyed playing chess. How could I have guessed that the chisel would be hidden inside it? The chisel and the chessboard. That fact is only known by a select few people. This was the answer we arrived at from our reasoning, after all. So then, why does she know about this? In Dogen's hand, even a chisel is enough to be used as a lethal weapon. Ma'am. Madam Roland, you certainly are sharp-witted. Hey, enough with the titles. Call me Patty. P-A-T-T-Y. Uh. However, there's something you were a little too knowledgeable about. Oh, oh, oh. Embarrassed? You're such an inexperienced child, Edgeworth, dear. Gah. Fight on, Mr. Edgeworth. You said you didn't really know much about Nightly. If that's the case, how did you know about the chisel inside the chessboard? Uh, oh, of course. The entrance check. Objection. Enough with the poor excuses. The entrance check. The chessboard wasn't something Nightly brought with him. 
It was brought to him later by Mr. Keys. He didn't even have it when he arrived. That's uh, uh, my mistake. I meant the parcel check. Even if we assume that, there's still many suspicious points. Why wasn't such a chisel immediately confiscated? Nah. Judge Courtney, did you tell anyone about the trick to this chessboard? I did not. If no information about our investigation was leaked, then how did you find out? You could not have examined this during the entrance check or parcel check. Certainly someone in the warden's position would never have let a chisel slip by. Exactly. So answer this, Warden Roland. When and how did you learn about the chessboard secret? Huh. In that case, I shall answer for you. It is because... I give up, Edgeworth, dear. It is as you say. I interrogated Knightley. That's how I learned about the chessboard. But please believe me, I didn't kill anyone. Enough. It would appear that we have uncovered some vital information. I'll ask you to testify once more, if that's all right with you, Prosecutor Edgeworth. No objections here. Thank you, Edgeworth, dear. I'll do my best. Well then, Warden Roland, I trust there will be no lies from there on, here on out. Her pool of lies is slowly running dry. Soon I will bring out her true nature. My story part two. When's part three? It was so fucking good. I wouldn't go so far as to call it an interrogation. I always make sure to talk to all the new arrivals. Mr. Knightley, yes, we had a little chat. After our talk, he went right back to his cell, I assure you. She's piling lies on top of lies, not realizing that it only tightens a noose around her neck. You speak with the new prisoners, you say? That's right, I'm glad you understand. Objection! Your testimony is not solid evidence, it requires more than just understanding. Well then, Prosecutor Edgeworth, you may begin your cross-examination. Some more info. And uh, what was Knightley do like during the interrogation? He was very honest. No. Mr. Knightley was. Honest pal! He also talked about a croissant in some kind of promo. I almost said something different there, not promo. Unpassant and chess pieces. A piece promotion, I presume. Looks like he uh, was his usual chess-loving self. After our talk, we went right back to his cell, I assure you. If he really returned to his cell, there's no way he wouldn't be a corpse now. I know you're suggesting that I killed him during the interrogation, but... I couldn't possibly have had a motive to kill Knightley, could I? Dogen was the one, only one I hated, and he had no connection to the victim. That's a lie. She only hated Dogen. Please add that statement to your testimony. Gotcha, bitch. Where's my fucking... No. At least my mom, yeah. There you go. One of the memos. Judge Courtney, I'd like you to have a look at this. It looks like a record of a chess game. Is there something wrong with it? 
This was discovered in the victim's cell. It was Knightley's memo. Warden Rowland, you also discovered this note in the very same place. And not just in Knightley's cell, but in Dogen's too, correct? What are you saying? Let's say you don't know about the chessboard in this special cell. After all, you would have kept an eye on Dogen's actions, down to the smallest details. Now, to be more precise, it wasn't Dogen that you needed to keep an eye on. The Warden was searching for Mr. Dogen's henchmen. From the start, I found it strange that the Warden interrogated the prisoners personally, since he used his henchmen to threaten harm to our family. Warden Roland interrogated Dogen to expose them. So what are you saying? As you inspected Dogen's mail, you must have known that he played correspondence, Jess. And then Knightley appeared with a chess memo in hand. We deduced that he and Dogen were connected. You must have arrived at the same conclusion as well. However, you went on one step too far in your reasoning. You thought Knightley was one of Dogen's henchmen who would come to kill you. So that's why you interrogated Knightley, boy. The boss won't crack go after his henchmen. In addition, you discovered something when you were interrogating him. Inside his chessboard, you found a portable chisel. A murder weapon. To Warden Roland, the chisel was a symbol of Dogen. And that was the final straw. You believe Knightley was one of Dogen's henchmen and you killed him. Seems there will be no rebuttal. Judge Courtney, your verdict. Yeah, I mean, she got him fucking rolled. Though it is incredibly unfortunate, there seems to be no room for doubt. I shall announce my verdict. The murder of Horace Knightley. Stop. It's over. Twice my sacred verdict has been interrupted. Who was that? Oh, God. <laughs> Warden Roland. Uh, how strange. You guys really don't understand anything. I don't say no one who doesn't understand is you. Me? Oh, I understand one thing very well. There's a huge contradiction in your logic, Mr. Edgeworth. Hmm. When she's cornered, she starts spouting nonsense. Pay it no heed, Judge Courtney. Your verdict. I'm interested in hearing what the warden has to say. What? I thought so. I just have one thing I want to say. One? So please take a good look at the autopsy report. The autopsy report. I brought one with you. You the one I brought with me. I heard exactly what you said earlier, Justine Darling. You said the wound was found four inches deep. Four inches. No way. Could that shiny, ch tiny chisel have really made a wound four inches deep? Impossible! How could I have made such an error? Oh, forgive me, goddess of law. Well, I believe that overturns your hypothesis. What will you do now, Mr. Edgeworth? What do we do? It'll be all right, pal. Mr. Edgeworth always, uh... Uh... Ah. Uh, I mean, this thing's like... Two inches? If you drive it deep enough, maybe. Hmm. 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 Whoa, hey now, uh, he's gone all white. Hey, you're a defense attorney, aren't you? Uh, isn't there something you can do, pal? Do that turnabout thing. Make some earth shattering objection. Uncle Ray's a hard worker, but uh, without the size of evidence, uh, we're just whipping a dead horse here. Does that mean it's hopeless? Hmm. The true killer is Warden Roland. If it's not her, then nothing that's happened fits. But the chisel is in the murder weapon. Are there any other sharp objects here? I can't fucking think of any. Unless, like, there's just a knife hidden somewhere. We don't have any evidence for there are remaining cases, however, we do not, uh, not have the evidence to solve them at the present time. We have no choice but to continue this battle in the courtroom. Objection. Oh, just give the killer a chance to destroy the evidence. Are you mocking the court? 
N no, 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 I didn't mean anything like that. You look perplexed, Miles. Do I have anything yet? The chisel is not the murder weapon. In that case, what is? It's no use. We're back to where we started. No objections, Prosecutor Edgeworth. By the way, any baseless statements will be punished accordingly. Mm. 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 It's no good. I can't think of anything. I need more time. Can I have a recess? I regret to say I have no... Okay. No, Mr. Edgeworth. Remember what Mr. Shield said. If we give up, Simon will... There. Okay, no. Literally, there is no way Simon could have done this. It's literally impossible. Have you forgotten that sad look on his face? Like, there is no evidence that links him at this point to the crime. We already established that the chisel was already in there. Like, before he gave it. Or, like, before, uh, whatever. And, like, we already know dude was gone by the time or like killed. And Simon couldn't have done it. Like, it was in that time frame. That he went missing. He was the one who suffered most from Knightley's death. If we can't save him, who will? Besides, Simon believes in us. So we can't give up. Okay. I agree. Miles, looks like you found a good partner. Yeah, I did. It's like little K says. Whenever you're backed into a corner, think of your client. Keep fighting until the very end. Isn't that the feeling you're getting? Gregory, your old man. No matter what trouble he faced, he'd always turn things around and save his client. If you got his blood in you, done it right? In that case, you're the only one who can turn this around. Judge Courtney? The look in your eyes has suddenly changed. If you do intend to speak, you'd better be prepared to face the consequences. Your logic thus far has been misplaced numerous times. If this were to happen again, I will consider you unfit to call yourself a prosecutor. And we'll hand over ba your badge. That's right. My reasoning about this case has indeed, indeed been misplaced up numerous times. Have I made a great mi grave miscalculation? Wait. My logic is misplaced. Still silent. I cannot condone this waste of time. Well then, Mr. Edgeworth! Mr. Edgeworth! I will announce my verdict. That's it. I had to turn my logic around. My logic isn't misplaced. It's been misled. This court finds the defendant, Simon Keyes, innocent. He didn't shut the cameras off. Isn't it a little early to hand down a verdict? I actually think it's rather late. Don't you agree, Justine Darling? Enlighten us. What? Try to remember. The eyewitness account about his dog and his absence from the animal show. When I first heard that information, my suspicion immediately fell on Dogen. I'm amazed you take such pride in retelling your previous failings. I'm not done, bitch. But was that not the killer's aim? What if we assume that was their intention from the start? Of course. The chisel served the same purpose. Knightley's body was stabbed in the same spot with multiple sharp objects. This shows that he was stabbed with the chisel after the real murder weapon was removed. By soaking the chisel in Knightley's blood, the killer wanted to mislead us into thinking the chisel was the murder weapon. Why? That's because... Why did the killer want us to think the chisel was the murder weapon? To get Dogen... Wait, what? Why? Okay, fuck. To get him expelled. What, is this a fucking school? It was the murder weapon. It wasn't the murder weapon. It had nothing to do with Knightley. He was fucking dead, so I assume he wants him expelled? Sure. Warden Roland, you made use of this chisel's image. Chisel's image. What are you trying to say? Mr. DeBest, when you see this chisel, what does it suggest to you? Eh? Something like, Dogen's killer, right? Now, do you understand? That was the warden's aim. 
She wanted us to suspect the person with the chisels. Indeed. That was our plan from the very beginning. It makes Iron Dogen now to be the killer. I understand your logic. It is true the warden did not think kindly of Dogen. But you understand, don't you? This alone does not prove she is the killer. As I thought, it's not enough. Fuck. The remaining chance is for me to find the real murder weapon. If you have no more evidence, I believe this conversation is over. Bet she fucking fed it to the alligator. That's what the fucking thing was. I could prove it if I found the real murder weapon. It doesn't matter what you say. We did a clean sweep of this place. Is as Sebastian says. In the end, we could not find any weapons. In other words, such proof is impossible. No, the murder weapon must still be somewhere in the prison. As long as this exists. The security gate? Hmm. You remember its name after all. Are you mocking me? It's because of those things. That you can't take metal objects in or out of the place. Ah. Yeah, exactly. Unless it was a plastic knife. Like a hard plastic. Right, as long as those security gates exist, the murder weapon should still be here. That also means no weapons could have been brought into the prison. In the end, we're back to the same mystery after all. Judge Courtney. Prosecutor Edward, surely you've realized. The real murder weapon is still in the prison. One must also consider how it got there in the first place. The chisel was concealed within the chessboard. But the chisel is not the real murder weapon. Which means the real murder weapon must have been smuggled in somehow. The way it was smuggled in. Can you prove that? Uh, how Warden Roland brought the weapon into the prison. She just turned off the power to it, probably. We had evidence transferred from the precinct. Yes, we borrowed all the evidence concerning Dogen. Or he just used that. Never mind. I've been interrogating him personally in my office, but... That's it. She could have used that. This shows another way a weapon could have been brought into the prison. Uh, this one? No. Take that. that one. Yesterday, Dogen said this. Yes, my bells. There are only two in the world. Only two? They're custom made, attached to my knife in Anubis's collar. Even though I can only rely on my ears, I can easily identify them. The last one has been confiscated, it is not in my possession. It's possible the murder weapon was brought in as confiscated evidence. What? What? Dogen's knife was confiscated and stored on the premises. Furthermore, a bell was attached to the knife. Can't be. The bell on that chisel? Exactly. The killer took it from the knife and reattached it to the chisel. But the only fingerprints on the chisel are nightlies. The killer probably wore gloves when they made the switch. She made the chisel out to be the murder weapon by attaching the Dogen's bell. And in doing so, made Dogen appear to be the culprit. Furthermore, the handling of the set of evidence that this bell originally belonged to was the only po was only possible for someone with the proper authority. Oh, sir, who had the authority? Why don't we ask the warden what she thinks? You can find bells anywhere. <laughs> Anyone would have attached it, right? Hmm. I see. So you don't know. These bells are Dogen's trademark. There are only two in the world. What? What? <laughs> and so attaching the bell would naturally make you the killer. It's over. Do you have any evidence that I have the knife? You don't, do you? Of course, I understand. In that case, Mr. DeBest, I'd like to request an investigation immediately. Eh? Ah, but uh, if you find it, it would be problematic for me. It doesn't matter now. It is necessary that we reveal the truth. You are a prosecutor, are you not? Well, even if you say that. Of course. Curse this useless prosecutor. If only I started investigation rights. Besides, we can't investigate without the warden's permission, right? 
There's no way she would approve. We have no choice but to investigate ourselves. If you don't have evidence, there's no use in continuing this conversation. The goddess of law does not to smile upon those with no evidence. You can't have evidence unless you investigate, you dumb fucking bitch. This will have to be continued in the courtroom. Not good. If we give the warden more time here, she'll definitely destroy the evidence. It seems like I have no choice but to raise an objection and stall for time. But I don't have anything definite. Is that really acceptable? Is it really like me to do something that reckless? No. Not good at all. Now is the time for no hesitation. For hesitation. Right now I'm not a prosecutor, but an attorney's assistant. I need to protect my client. I'm not the only one who can save him now. I'm the only one who can save him, in that case. Even if it's a, if it's a one in a million chance, I have to take it. It's sink or swim. Should I raise an objection? Raise an objection! Why wouldn't you? It almost feels like I've turned into a certain bluffing defense attorney. But right now, I can't come to a standstill here. Objection! Shut up, bitch. Oh, that... Prosecutor Edgeworth. What now? I just realized something. What would that be? Pray tell. Naturally, the whereabouts of the real murder weapon. Dogen's knife. Mr. Edgeworth, is that really true? Sure. Yeah. Though it is a lie. I can find that hard to, I find that hard to believe. This isn't a bluff, is it? Hm. You underestimated me. The word bluff does not exist in my dictionary. Ugh, this is bad for my heart. There's no way you could know, because such a thing doesn't even exist. Well then, could you enlighten us? Where is the real murder weapon? Think, 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 think. Somewhere the police didn't look. A blind spot in this animal-filled prison. A hiding place where the warden would have complete confidence in. Hiding place. Couldn't think of it. It was inevitable. Anuba, show them your mouth. The same method. No! It couldn't be, could it? But, there aren't many ways to hide things from the investigator's eyes. Prosecutor Edgeworth, how long do you tend to keep us waiting? It's possible, but I'm taking a, bit gam a big gamble here. The place where the real murder weapon is hidden is here! Okay. It's with that alligator. 100%. Here in the courtyard. Indeed. It's not enough information. Please show us in more detail. God damn it. Where's the real murder weapon hidden? <laughs> right there. Right in that fucking alligator. That's it. Back then. Ah! What's the matter, detective? Looks like the metal detector is reacting to this alligator. Really? Why? It fucking ate a knife. Of course, that's why the metal detector reacted. Judge Courtney, I'd like you to take a look at this. The chisel. What's that? Just the fake murder weapon? Wasn't that just the fake murder weapon? Dogen hid this chisel inside his dog's mouth, and the real murder weapon was hidden in a very much the same way. The real murder weapon is in the pond inside the alligator. What? What? We can confirm what the me with uh, confirm that the metal detector reacted to the alligator. Judge Courtney, please have the insides of the alligator examined. I give my consent. We'll have to call a veterinarian. I can make that little girl open her mouth. Can I help? Yes. <laughs> Go ahead. Step on me. <laughs> Warden Roland. Discovering the real murder weapon will settle this matter once and for all. Why don't you do the honorable thing and confess now? I, what would I have to confess? In that case, you can just wait for your fate to be sealed. Oh, we found it, sir! 
Just where you said it would be. It's over. Patricia Roland, the real murder weapon, it's none other than Dogen's knife. And the one who murdered Horace Knightley can only be you. Shattered. Dogen was the evil one. I didn't do anything wrong. It was completely reasonable. That guy was one of Dogen's henchmen. Him. If only he had never come to my home. I could at least still be happy. My special paradise. He ruined all of it. Him. That no good assassin. Him. 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 <laughs> yeah, she's fucking lost it. Oh god. What the fuck? Holy shit. Why are there so many ferret things on her? Why can't I get more of the, uh, that shot? That looked way better.